Hello and welcome to the classes of Vedic Astrology. So today we are in class 2 and let's understand like what are the nature of planets. Also before proceeding like whoever has just you know opened this particular video of our YouTube channel I'll suggest and recommend them that please watch and learn class one first and then you come to class two that is today's video so that you will be able to understand whatever I'm talking about in this particular video and it is essential for you to learn proper Vedic astrology if you like uh, you need to uh, watch my videos sequentially right one two three four and so on don't skip any of the videos because then you will be having some problems not some you will be having a lot of problems in understanding what i am talking about all right so again please watch my video sequentially if you have not watched class one watch it learn from it practice it and then come to class two that is today's class okay so today we will be understanding about the nature of planets so we had discussed in our last class that there are nine planets in Vedic astrology and all of these nine planets are placed and situated in specific houses or in a particular houses of a person's horoscope or Kundli. And all of these nine planets needs to be placed uh, might be one, two, three, whatever houses. All right. So let's look at the nature of the planets. Mars. Mars is no so see uh, whatever I'm saying the nature of the planets might be even more than that but whatever I'm saying today I'm just pointing out the most important aspects or the most common aspects of planets all right how these planets are known to behave. Mars has a separative tendency all right Mars indicates strength vigor blood in the human body anger aggression the overall build of a human body muscle mass so all of these are you know are uh, all of these you know characteristics are indicated by planet mars venus venus talks about or venus indicates sex attraction beauty luxury uh, semen or the sperm in a male's body love and romance you know luxurious life lifestyle materialistic lifestyles attraction towards the opposite sex so all of these are indicative of venus venus also indicates knowledge because venus is also a guru all right now let's talk about Mercury. Mercury indicates intelligence, IQ, that is intelligent or intelligence quotient, memory, speed of grasping knowledge, right? The speed by which a human will be able to grasp knowledge, speed of thinking, the speaking, the communication, the verbal communication of an individual, speech, business, accounts, writing also, mathematics. So all of these are indicated by planet Mercury. Then moon, moon, the most important aspect of a human's body. When I talk about mental health, I'm a practitioner. I am a believer. I am an advocate of mental health. So whenever I will talk about mental health, the most important planet that is indicated in Vedic astrology that relates to mental health is moon because moon is all about mind as I am talking about psychology. Psychology is what? It is the study of the understanding of the human mind. All right. Whenever it is the human mind in Vedic astrology, it is the planet moon. Moon also indicates speed because moon in a horoscope, you know, uh, travels at the most highest speed as compared to the 
other planets. We'll, we'll learn about that. Sun. Sun indicates the energy of the individual, the soul of the individual, vitality, intelligence, management, leadership, eyesight. Anything government related is indicated by the planet Sun. Willpower. So all of these are indicated by the planet Sun and some of these are in are common with the planet Mars. So you have to also understand that. Jupiter. Jupiter indicates knowledge. It indicates teacher in one's life. It indicates a guru in one's life. Guru means a spiritual teacher, a mentor, everything. The guru is a very uh, spiritual word and you can have guru related to any aspect whether it is your profession or your personal areas you might everyone or every some many of us they or many of you will be able will be able to understand the word guru because it's a very common word jupiter also indicates body fat okay saturn saturn indicates seriousness in an individual saturn indicates slow it indicates laziness it also indicates going in depth suppose if you want to go in depth of a particular subject if you want to research about a particular subject knowing all the details that that particular topic or the subject has to offer so saturn indicates all of these it also indicates the hair on a human's body it indicates saturn indicates justice it indicates ethics, it indicates morals, it indicates values, it indicates principles. Rahu. Rahu indicates excitement in a person's uh, in a person, all right? It indicates big desires, big excitement, enthusiasm. But also Rahu has certain negative departments like gambling addiction might be addiction to alcohol cigarettes uh, wrong completely wrong addiction all right and xyz it indicates you know unethical living it indicates immoral immoral values it indicates anything that is illegal so rahu also has certain negative departments but if the same rahu is positive in an individual that individual will have a lot of desire to achieve success that same individual will have a lot of enthusiasm to achieve success. His vision or her vision will be extremely high because Rahu is positive in that individual's horoscope. And if the same Rahu is negative, then I have said it might activate that, those negative departments. That again, we will be able to understand when Rahu is negative, when Rahu is positive, everything you will be able to understand in all of, I will cover in the upcoming videos. Ketu. Ketu indicates moksha. Moksha means, uh, you know, uh, freedom from the cycle of birth and death. What in that particular way, you can Google what, what is the meaning of moksha. So Ketu indicates moksha. It indicates spirituality also. It indicates self-realization, self-actualization because a lot of gurus, what are spiritual leaders? Because Ketu also indicates spirituality. It indicates Ketu also indicates detachment from, from family life, detachment from society. Because Ketu is a person who always travels on a spiritual path. But here spirituality in the spirituality in the sense also indicates isolation in this aspect. I'm talking about Ketu. So Ketu indicates all of these things, right? Also Ketu, because something big a person achieves, something great a person achieves, then Ketu plays a very primary role in that particular factor. All right. Something tremendous means, you know, ho hosting a flag, like hosting a flag or, you know, earthing the flag in that aspect, wherever you are working means you have earthed the flag, you have hosted the flag means you have achieved tremendously in whatever pursuits you had been undertaken. So here Ketu plays a huge role. If Ketu 
is positive, then this particular aspect is seen on the, in those individuals. Those individuals attains huge amount of success if Ketu is completely positive then. All right. So I have mostly covered the important points of the nature of the planets in the upcoming videos. You will be able to understand more of these, you know, knowledge. I'll even talk about some more aspects of planets. Whenever I will be talking about medical astrology or horoscope or Kundli Vislation or, you know, analysis of a horoscope, you will be able to understand more and more what all of these planets indicates. But uh, anything else? Let me see if I want to cover in this particular video. All right. So I think I will only cover this particular topic for this particular video. Again, it's very important for us to move step by step uh, so that you all will be learning all of whatever I am saying very easily. It's important for you all to watch my videos again and again. So whatever I told, whatever I had discussed in this particular video, you write it down in your notepad so that coming going forward, you will be able to understand which particular planet indicates which particular nature or which natures are indicated by which particular planet. What is the Karaka for a particular plan nature? What is the Kar Karaka planet? So Karaka is again a Vedic astrological term. K -A -R -A -K -A. So again, in the upcoming videos, you will be able to understand more and more of these. All right. So again, that's it for, for this particular video. Please subscribe to this particular channel. I'll request all of you to subscribe, like this video, share this video. And if you have any queries, any questions, anything that you want to know or you want me to answer related to Vedic astrology, you can share that in the comment section. And if possible, I'll answer them in the comment section itself. Or if time, whenever time will permit, I'll make a separate video. If in case the answer to a particular question demands a bigger time. All right. So thank you. And I'll see you in the next video in the next class. Thank you. Have a nice day and take care.